It's been 12 months since the roads and highway minister Kwesi Amakwata announced a $56 million contract awarded for the reconstruction of the Tema motorway. My colleague Josephine MPJ spent some time on the expressway and reports dangers in driving on the stretch has shot up because its current state is worse off. If you are a motorist or a commuter and you ply the expressway often, then you will not miss patched motorway, malfunctioned street lights, and no bulbs in street poles. These are a few concerns on the expressway, which are on the hearts of people here. Traveling on the expressway is the motorist's alternative to avert being caught up in the constant gridlock on the beach road to Tema. The motorway also links to the Volta and the Eastern regions. But patches like this hinder the expected smooth drive. Last year, the cracks and potholes on the stretch were patched with butamine, a project costing the taxpayer 24 million CDs. But that is not all. Metal railings have been removed, endangering the lives of motorists and other road users. The number of illegal and dangerous U-turns have increased to 40 on the entire stretch. These drivers breached road safety regulations. Commercial vehicles now stop for pedestrians to cross. Others pick up and allow passengers to alight following the increasing number of settlements along the highway despite the risk. Incessant road infractions usually results in accidents. We have just chanced on accident which has just happened. If you can see behind me, that is a Kia private car that has just turned upside down in the median of the motorway. But thankfully, the, the driver escaped on her. So we want to speak to him and find out what exactly happened. No, now within a few minutes at all, what's your room? Yeah, two minutes. What's your room? What's your room? What's your room? What's your room? Oh, what's your room? Yeah. It's now, my seat belt. So I can use seat belt now, my boy, now I can to be something else. A motorist, Alex Amu, had a concern. I think uh, the police who normally check on the motorway should, should, should do this job this year because it's very dangerous. I was coming with this man at the mall and then uh, uh, this... Uh, uh, heavy duty car just cross us, you know, he cross us, but we can't do anything. All we can do is that we, we have to pass around him and just let him know that we saw what he did and it's no good to do that because last year a lot of people passed away. It's not supposed to be like this this year. The slum dwellers along the highway were evicted in the last quarter of 2019. Government directed all assemblies will share boundaries on the expressway to clear these structures. The expressway is without street lights as electricity poles have tumbled, a situation which poses more danger at night. The median along the stretch has been touched by unscrupulous persons, a practice very common during the Hamilton. In January last year, the Roads and Highways Minister Kwesi Amuakwata said that the 19-kilometer stretch had been earmarked for reconstruction at a cost of $56 million. I want the minister to first fix the street light for us this year because with the lights, we can have good visibility on the road. Going into 2020, a year dedicated by government to road rehabilitation, motorists and other road users are looking forward to the fulfillment of the promise. Josephine Ntriyajay, TV3 News.